my God, how great you are. How great, how great you are. Come on and sing it with me on this morning. Sing it to him. My God, how great you are. How great, how great you are. Come on and sing hallelujah to the Lord Almighty. Sing it, church. Hallelujah. 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 How great you are. How great. My God, how great. My God, how great you are. How great, how great you are. Lord, we love you on this morning. My God, how great you are. How great, how great you are. Come on and sing it to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah. You know what? I'm going to just make a shift right here. There's a breaking. There's a breaking. Come on, help me sing it. It's in my favor. Lord, I'm in love with you this morning. And there's a shift in. In my direction. In my direction. There's a breaking. It's in my favor as I pray. Come on and sing it with me. There's a breaking. There's a breaking. My God, my God. It's in my favor. Glory to God. And there's a shift in. In my direction. We love you, Jesus. There's a breaking. It's in my favor as I pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, speak to us on this morning. Minister to us. Show us the power that we have in our mouth when we yield to the Holy Ghost. Glory to God in the highest. So good morning to you, my precious brothers and sisters in the Lord. This morning, I'm talking about miracle in your mouth. I know if you've been following us here lately, you know I've been talking a lot lot about speaking, declaring, taking authority, using the mouth that God have given you to declare certain things and see it come to pass in your life. Now, I want to take you right into the book of Mark chapter 11, verse 23, in the words of Christ. Jesus said, for verily, I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, meaning whatever problem or trouble it is that you are facing, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, listen to what Jesus said at the end of this verse, Jesus said, you shall have whatsoever you say. That's powerful stuff right now. That's that's powerful. Jesus said, you shall have whatever you say. But the problem in the church is, people say it one time, under the anointing of the Holy Ghost, and if God doesn't do it immediately, they get discouraged they become faint. But the Bible says, be not weary and well-doing for in due season, you shall faint if you, you, you shall reap if you faint not. The Bible says life and death are in the power of the tongue and those who love it shall eat the fruits thereof. So if you believe that God have given you authority and power to decree a thing and it will be established, start using your tongue for good. Declare the word of God. Speak to that demonic situation that's coming against your marriage, your finances, your health, 
your job, your ministry, your business, your family. You've got to use the weapon of your mouth. Amen. You just have to make sure it's loaded with God's word and you are saying it with conviction under the anointing and leadership of the Holy Ghost. Not, not that you are just blabbing out of your head. Now we see this in the life with the woman with the issue of blood. She applied this principle. I believe as we talk about the woman with the issue of blood, I believe this one simple principle is overlooked. And that's why I call this miracle in your mouth. The Bible says in Mark chapter five, verse 25 through 34, and a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years, she was bleeding nonstop for 12 years and had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all that she had and was nothing better, but rather grew worse. Now look, I'm all for doctors. I'm not against doctors. I'm not against medical science. I'm, we are, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm for it 100%. But there are some things that's beyond their reach. And in this woman's situation, they experimented on her. They tried everything they could in their power, but her situation just, they just didn't have the solution. Instead, the Bible says her problem just got worse. Now listen to verse 27. When she had heard of Jesus, oh, glory to God. That's where faith begins right there. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. When she had heard the reports of Jesus is what the, Amplified Version says, when she had heard of Jesus, she came in the crowd behind him and touched his garment. Listen to verse 28. He has the miracle in your mouth. For she said, she said it, if I can just touch his clothes, I shall be healed. Do you see that? We preach about this a whole lot, but we overlook this. She Didn't Jesus say Whoever shall say to this mountain, be thou removed, be thou cast into the midst of the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. Jesus said he will have whatever he say. And this woman, she said, if I can touch the hem of his garments, I know I'll be made whole. That's where her faith was. She declared it. She believed it. And she acted on it. You see that? She said, man, all I got to do is grab all his clothes and I know I will be made whole. And Jesus said, you will have whatever you say. Listen to this. Verse 29 of Mark 5. And immediately the fountain of her blood was dried up and she felt in her body, that she was healed of that plague, that condition, that disease. She spoke a miracle into existence. Now she couldn't do it without the help of Jesus. She had the faith, she had the declaration, but it takes the power of God Almighty. It takes Christ himself, honoring what you said in your faith to make that thing materialize. You see that? Now watch. And Jesus, the Bible says, immediately the fountain of her blood was dried up and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. Watch verse 30. And Jesus, immediately knowing in himself that virtual anointing or power had gone out of him, turned him about in the crowd and said, who touched my clothes? And his disciples said unto him, don't you see this multitude touching up against you and you asking us, who's man, all of them are touching you. But Jesus knew it was a different kind of touch. It was the touch of someone who spoke their miracle in their existence. She declared it. She spoke it. She believed it. And she acted on it. My God, and he looked round about to see her that had done this thing. But the woman fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, she knew she was healed, came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. Before all the people, you see. She testified publicly after she got her miracle. 
And this is what gets my attention. And he said unto her, daughter, your faith had made you whole. Go in peace and be, be whole of your plague. Jesus said, your faith. What was her faith? She heard about the miracles of Jesus. She believed it in her heart. She confessed it with a mouth that if I can just touch his garment, I'll be made whole. And after she said that, she didn't stay home. She had to go where Jesus was moving. She went out, pressed through the crowd, grabbed a hold of his clothes. The power of God flowed out of him into her body. And immediately she was made whole. And Jesus said, woman, daughter, your faith have made you whole. What was her faith? She heard it. She believed it. She declared it. And she acted on it. If you do the same thing, you get the same results. But you got to believe. You got to declare it. And then you got to act on it. Many people were healed in the Bahamas. Sitting in their seats. They believed God. They came out to the miracle crusade with faith. They believed God. Cancer healed. Tumors disappeared. Spinal problems healed by the power of God. It's, it's God. But those people believe and they acted on it. Trust me, friend. God is no respecter of persons. Jesus said, if you have faith the, the size of a grain of mustard seed, you shall say to this mountain, go hence to yonder place. And Jesus said, nothing will be impossible to you. It's powerful stuff. Nothing will be impossible. Man, I love my word. He said, daughter, be of good cheer. Go in peace. Your faith have made you whole. Listen here, friends. There is a miracle in your mouth, but you got to use that mouth that you got. You've got to use it. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. How about we start speaking in faith? I'm not talking about denying reality. I'm talking about being so convinced by the word of the living God that you speak with authority to that cancer, to that blindness, that paralysis, that sickness, that disease, that marriage trouble, that financial struggle, that court case. Open your mouth and speak to it in the name of Jesus and expect a miracle. Believe that a miracle is going to happen and you will have whatever. You say, there's a breaking. There's a breaking. Come on. It's in your favor, my God, my God. And there's a shift in, in your direction. There's a breaking, it's in your favor as you praise. Listen here, saints. We are preaching the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. All we ask you to do is continue to stand with us. Continue to support the work of God. You can do so by visiting us online right now. SeanPinder.net forward slash give. SeanPinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries, paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also mail in your donations. Just make your checks and your money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries. P.O. Box 117442, Carrollton, Texas 75011-7442. Remember, if you did not have a chance, to subscribe to this YouTube channel. These broadcasts are a blessing to you. Subscribe right now by clicking on the red and white button at the bottom right of your screen. Click on it right now. And once you subscribe, make sure your notifications are turned on every time we go live at Thursday and Sunday night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. You will receive that notification every time we upload, which we do daily you will also receive the notification to listen to those fresh broadcasts. Never forget, Pastor Sean, Pastor Amy, we love you, we care about you, we are believing God with you for your breakthrough, 
for your miracle and for your turnaround. Never forget, there is a miracle in your mouth. God bless you. We love you. See you on tomorrow. Bye-bye.